What I like about condos is there are newer and often you don't have to deal with all of the little idiosyncrasies of an older home. Um, but the downfall is it's hard to get everything up in a small elevator. Um, so that can be a challenge. But luckily, this isn't our first rodeo. Our client bought this as a new build and she downsized from a large home. So she moved in with all the furniture that she already had and it was very ill-suited to the space, let's say. Things didn't fit, they were the wrong style, it was really traditional and it looked great in her old home but it didn't look very good here. And it felt very like she had just plunked in stuff from someone else's house into the condo. She has many grandchildren and many kids. So the goal was to make it kid-friendly, an area where everyone could be you know, hanging out and cooking in the kitchen and watching TV and a, really a space that was comfortable for people to relax in. Jen is very decisive and was very open to all my ideas, which I love. Um, and so she just kind of said, you know, what do you think? And so we put together a whole scheme and she said, I love it, let's do it. One of the things she mentioned in our initial meeting was that she wanted some kind of focal wall for the TV and she was thinking about a fireplace. So immediately that's a good starting point. So we figured out how we'd arrange furniture around that and how we'd want to dress that wall and started with that as the inspiration. It was very much a white box. So the goal was really to bring in lots of other color and pattern and really fill that white box with other stuff so that your eye you know, bounces around to different things and it feels more like a full space. Because you kind of walk right into the living room, we wanted to create a sense of entry and something special. So we pulled this Gleesai wallpaper and tried to make a little moment in the front hall there. So this way it gives it a special moment that does feel separate without taking up a lot of space because wallpaper goes right on your walls. Thinking about all the kids and casual entertaining is kind of the key here. She's not having big dinner parties. It's really family hanging around on a Sunday afternoon. So we wanted to make sure it was lots of comfy seating and as much seating as possible. So the best way to achieve that was this huge sectional where all the kids kind of pile on and watch TV. Always in a condo, one of the challenges is getting stuff up the stairs slash elevator. Ooh, I love a little drama. So we always measure and dimension the elevator and do our best to fit it in, but there are definitely times where it doesn't always work. But we have this wonderful guy, and these services exist, where they come and take apart the sofa. So they disassemble the back and the arm, and then they take it up in the elevator and they put it back together. The actual sofa that would have fit in the elevator would have been quite small for this space. So unless you want to go fully modular, which is quite expensive, you're going to need to think of another way to get stuff upstairs. Cut your sofa in half. Janet before. My client already had this dining table, so we replaced the chairs, and that was kind of her idea was putting the dining table in the middle. We liked it a lot because for her kind of entertaining, you know, buffet, all the foods in the middle or on the island, it makes a lot of sense. And there's still lots of space, it's quite a large table, but you're not giving up, you know, a huge amount of real estate. And so in the area that was meant to be the dining room, we put these swivel lounge chairs and that's where she sits and plays on her iPad and works on her laptop. And that's kind of her hangout zone when she's on her own. This unit was somewhere else the first time we came. I think it was over there. I think it was all wood and we painted the outside dark and then brought the white on the inside to make everything pop. And really she has a lot of huge family. So we wanted space for lots of family photos and to display stuff. And it kind of bridges the gap between the living room and the dining room and almost works like a hutch to the dining room. We had blinds, we talked about drapery, but there are so many windows that the concern was that it would feel really heavy. And most of the time, she wasn't concerned about privacy. If you look from the outside, there's actually no buildings close to here. So the idea was to put soft drapery in the bedroom to make it feel nice and cozy and light, but really to keep this space open. The master, huge white room. Tons of space to do whatever we wanted. We wanted to add a focal wall with the wallpaper and focused on something that was gonna have impact. It's wood veneer laid together. It's Philip Jeffries and it's beautiful. And it is installed in a parquet pattern and it's like a rich navy color. So we found that and we thought it would just be so special. The tufted headboard feels very traditional and antique -y, and parquet flooring fits that vibe, but then to throw it on the walls in navy shakes it up a little. We added a full wall of shears that add nice softness, cover up all those windows and they have a little pinstripe in them that ties in with the color of the mirror. My client already had the bed, but we added those nightstands, which I love. They have a curve into the front of them and there's beautiful wood with a brass hardware on them. There was a large floor length mirror and the space is so big that at the end of the bed, we used two of my client's existing chairs that she actually had in the living room and they fit well with the style of the bed for a little seating room. That's where she watches TV and drinks wine at night. The powder room, really, it was a new build. So floors are in, vanities in, mirrors in. We just wanted to add a moment of fun. And we showed our client this wallpaper and she immediately loved it. I find with patterns, you're either, it hits you right here or you hate it. Um, and she loved it right away and it is spectacular. It makes that space feel so special and fun. And I think that's a wonderful thing in a powder room. 
This condo was a great opportunity because sometimes in a condo you end up with bulkheads and awkward spaces and dated finishes that are already installed that you don't have the opportunity to change. But here we really had a plain blank slate and we got the opportunity to just really put our stamp on it and fill it up and make it feel like a home.